Hello everybody, I am WopicFlick and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Origins, Final Fantasy 1, part of my The Year of Final Fantasy. Alright, so, this is the only place I have left to go, I've explained it, but just to reiterate where I am. And you can see my ship is right here. Because I had to canoe my ass all the way around here. As I said I would have to. Alright, so this is the only place left for me to go. Strictly, no other place for me to dock. So, one can only assume that... I'm gonna be getting the uh, airship. The Ice Cavern B1. And Matoyo's Cave music. It's, an, it's known as Matoyo's Cave, I mean, you could just call it Wise Cave music, but yeah. Anyways, White Dragons, alright. So, you actually fight a Red Dragon in the uh, Mount Gog when you're getting the uh, Flame Mail, which is what I have equipped. In fact, I should be doing this. And I should change the Ice Brand, which is another item I got, obviously, uh, for my... The Worm Killer. There we go. That's gonna be useful. And I assume they're your Ice users? So, uh, no Ice, please. If I remember everything correctly... Boy, um, for one thing, you could've gone here first before Mount Golg. Although, I don't think... I would, wouldn't recommend you should, because I think this place is harder, but I don't know. Could be wrong. Anyways, no lice is very useful right now. Although my monk is doing shit damage. And you only decided to strike once. Why? Whatever. Worm killer, go! And why is everyone only deciding to attack once? It must be because of the ice storm they did. But no ice MVP. And Spectres. I think like they I think like their former enemies, they, they inflict a status ailment. This one's probably sleep or paralyzed probably. Or darkness again. And they're just as weak. They give okay gill. Uh, nothing that great. Nothing to rat home about. Oh, mummies. Ah, eh, cockatrice. Nope. Don't wanna fuck with them right now. Alright, I will save this for now. So let's use this. And... Here's hoping... My monk or fighter goes before the cockatrice. And they're asleep. Come on, come on. Go, Raijin, go! You can do it! They're pissing you off, alright. Nothing left to fear. They're all dead! Although I am very, uh... What's the word? Hesitant on using my Dia 2 spell? Uh, well, whatever. I'm like, I might as well use it, because they're just going to be putting me to sleep a lot. But I'm... They kind of forced my hand. Alright, as per usual, I'm gonna be coming out. Alright, as per usual, I'm gonna be cutting out any multiple. Everything's going smoothly. Alright, that's pretty much it. Alright, as per usual, I'm gonna be editing out. Alright, as per usual, I'm gonna be editing out anything that has to do with enemies we've already seen. Okay, do I wanna go down or. And it looks like, yeah, walls. Alright, so, I made sure to buy more potions again. I'm hoping 30 will be enough this time. If not, I'm gonna, like, buy 99 potions. <laughs> I can afford it, but, you know. I'm trying to save some gill. For good reason, might I add. Man, those cockatrice are a lot more frequent now. Luckily, I did get my ice 2 out. So, I'm just gonna be using the Ice Brand, it's stronger. These enemies aren't necessarily Ice enemies, but once I come across an Ice enemy, like a White Dragon, I will... Hmm. I will switch weapons, since it doesn't cost a turn. It's gonna be nothing, isn't it? And it's nothing. Whatever, I'm not complaining. I didn't get a battle for that whole room, so... 
I'm good. In fact, something bad's gonna happen. If I didn't get in a battle for that long, then again, it could be like in the Marsh Caves, where I'm like, Give me a battle, give me a battle, and then I didn't get a battle. Oh boy, nothing but the undead here. This is kind of unique, but you'll be coming across battles like these eventually. So, you know what? I'm gonna. Well, go ahead. I was gonna have um use Dia 2. Uh, Asuna use. Asura use Dia 2, but I don't think I need to. Just in case. He gets a status ailment. They may maybe the um Spectre Silence. Alright. This is kinda unique, so only reason why I'm showing it off. Aw oh, man, I should have done an auto attack. Oh well. What a waste of a spell, but at least I know it's dead. Well it has some ice resistance, so maybe. I should be using the ice brand against them. A dia, man. Oh, right. So you see these cracks on the ground? Yeah, I don't want to step on them. Even though you kind of have to. Oh shit. Not good. I'm hoping I can run. I'm hoping I can run. Please run. You can do it. Just one of you needs to run. Oh crap. Come on, you can do it. Run. Run. This is my only chance. Run. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I lucked out. Okay, you don't want to fuck with that. And a shirt. Alright. Why not? I mean... It's chilly in here. I could I could use a shirt, I guess. Luckily, I got life. Um... You know what? Use all your cure ones on yourself. So yeah, I don't want to run into them anymore. So, seven cure ones, and all that did was cure... 159 HP. Yay. Well, the game kind of forced my hand on this right now. Alright. I'm just gonna use all of my, um... Red Mage's healing spells for now. But I'm starting to remember what's up here. We're gonna fight... Either a big-ass... Well, not a big-ass dragon, but a big enough dragon. Or... In fact, let me memo real quick. Also, I need to change my formation. We're gonna fight some either mage type enemy or. Ooh, a flame sword. Or. Uh, well, the dragon. Yeah, mage type enemy or dragon. So you're actually weaker than the uh, ice brand. So maybe I was supposed to come here first. But it has fire essence, so I don't know what that's gonna be useful for. But anyways, if you look at the cracks, if you were looking at the cracks, there's no way to go around it. All right, so specters they inflict paralyze on you. So not to no no. Okay, I need to buy a lot more potions. I want the game to give me high potions now. Jeez. All right. Uh. Do. By the way, the formation it does matter. From what I realize, um, enemies tend to talk. Enemies tend to attack the topmost character first, and as you go down, it's the most least attacked en uh, enemy or ally. Let's go. Let's go this way. All right. So this is lava, I guess. But you know, ice spikes. And a new enemy, Winter Wolf and Ice Gigas. 
So I guess there's elemental gig assist and there's some. Um... Damn, we're doing a lot of damage. And there is, well, regular gig assist. Hill is, I guess, earth. And then you got fire is fire, ice is ice. So I guess there's an air gigas, I assume. Nothing over there. I assume down. Okay, never mind. Like, down there is the way I'm supposed to go. And a dark wizard. Alright. I can fight one, I hope. Ah, you motherfucker. It's like, you know what? I'm gonna go first. Fuck you guys up before you kill me in one attack, apparently. Well, Dark Wizards are weak. But they hit really hard with Fire 3. Man, I didn't even heal a lot. Whatever. I'm gonna save the last one for life, in case one of us die. Alright, there's an item. Gonna grab that. All right, well, let me use it then. Um, he's second in line, so might as well. I think I got a few cure twos, honestly. Yeah, I got quite a bit. The last one on the monk. My last cure one. All right, so there's a chest down there. Alright. Um, let me go grab that real quick. Man, I am loving having a shield on my red mage. Okay, 10,000 gil. Thank you. I say I'm grateful for the shield on my red mage because he blocked a cockroach's attack. No figure. I say I'm grateful for my red mage having a shield because he blocked the cockatrice attack. Which let him cast ice 2 to kill the rest and the mummies. Well, not really. He didn't kill the mummies, but... I'm just grateful for the shield. Alright, so there's a crack there. And I'm assuming these are traps, so to the sides I will go. To the... Okay. This is just like, you know what? Here's a bunch of gill. You came here, so go buy some. Oh, I gotta equip that right now. Go buy some um shit that you need because these enemies are pretty tough. Well, we do fight the um. Oh, and it's stronger, so why not? Like we do fight the white dragons here, so yeah. Okay, sleeping back. All right, so no random battles guarding those chests. All right. I thought I would go deeper, but I. Went up? I don't know. Ah, fuck. Alright, well... I thought I would have to interact with it, but okay, evil eye. I assume you're another vampire-esque mini-boss battle, so... If that is the case... Uh... We're good on health. You look like a mage. Well, it's an ice dungeon, so let's see. That's it? Um... Okay? Oh yeah, the level stone, that's what it's called. Forgot. I mean, like, I knew what it was and where I need to go and everything, but I'm like... What the fuck is this and why do I need it? Honestly, I thought it was something else, but... Now that I got the level stone, I gotta go back and meet... Well, I gotta go down here. But I gotta go back and meet, um, that one dwarf in Mount Duragar. So, I'll see you there. Alright, so here I are where I need to go. I don't even know why. I said, you know, let's go to Mount Duragar. Even though where I know I'm supposed to go, forget the airship, but we're supposed to go down here. Right here to this little desert spot. I'm sure that dwarf would be like, oh, you got the level stone. Well, go to the desert and you'll go get yourself an airship thingy. 
That's pretty much it. Let's see, I think I have to just use it in the middle or something. Yeah, there we go. Lycan Desert. So there we go, the airship. I gotta say, the only reason I remember this is because it's in the desert, and this is the only time you actually are in the desert, other than this spot right here. Um, but the other main reason pertaining to it is because, well, I kind of associate the desert with Figaro Castle and you know ships and whatnot. And even though the castle in Figaro Castle is like itself like a ship, but point being, I just my mind just correlates shit like that. Alright, so there's a Chaos Shrine. Alright, so I think it's one of these. Let's start from here and zigzag our way down. I should probably take a memo though. Memo. Memo! There we go. Honestly, I should have taken a cottage too. Alright, tent. This isn't the spot. Um... I remember how- where I'm supposed to go, but... It's one of these caves. Let's try this one, next. Damn, this shit's sensitive. Um... The- the chamber I'm looking for is like a big-ass deep room or something. I don't know if there's random battles here, though. Have you met our King Bahamut? He confers a great honor upon those who prove their courage. Oh, right. Oh, well, I'll talk to him anyways. We dragons have a tradition to prove one's courage. Enter the citadel of trials in the northeast and retrieve a token from within. Well, now I know where to go. Well, like, I knew what I needed now, but now I know where to go. The token of courage can assume different forms, some rather strange. You mean like Tata's medal? The hero medal? I assume there's no random battles then, so fuck it. Let me go, I might as well grab the items in here. There's no random battles. If there is, I'm gonna be ever so pissed. 575, and a golden eel. Alright, so that's it here. I can't land here? What? Interesting. I can't land in pennant like the light green ones. That's odd. Uh realism, I guess. Alright. Tin Gill. How strange! Humans in the realm of dragons? If you have the courage, present yourself before our king, Bahamut! I'm trying to pronounce Bahamut's name correct. It's not Bahamut, it's Bahamut or something. At least that's what I was I heard of from like websites and whatnot. Anyways, the Cordian dragons are creatures of peace. We do not kill needlessly. But if you step on my new Nikes, uh, you're 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 totally dead. Long ago, the northern lands flourished with beautiful temples and immense mechanical castles. Well, I guess I know where I'm going again. They really want me to go to that castle. And all these caves. Man, it's like... I'm using a speed hack when I use the airship. Ah, this is the spot. I remember because this shit's fucking narrow. 
How do these dragons squeeze through it? Well, them graves. You are in the presence of Bahamut, the great king of dragons. Bahamut tests every job of courage you may have. Don't worry, he's not a boss fight, as fearsome as he looks. Although that'd be awesome to fight Bahamut. I am Bahamut, king of dragons. If you would prove your valor, return with the token of it. Okay, I'll be back, Bahamut. I'm gonna check the rest of the caves, but... What I need to get is... <sighs> it's silly. It's silly what I need to get. But it's worth it. Like one of the dragons said, anything could be a, a medal of courage. It's just how it signifies, or it's... Well, yeah, signifies its, itself or presents itself. So it's kind of silly what you get. I, I don't... I never understood why, but whatever. Long ago, dragons and humans lived in peaceful coexistence. That was known as Saga Frontier. You may have played it. I mean, you might know it as Final Fantasy Legend. But yeah, we used to live together with machines and elves and demi fiends and all that fun shit. All right, more items. Twenty-seven fifty, two thousand, fourteen fifty-five. Is that it? I want a weapon, man. Give me Adamantite. I forgot where I get Adamantite, honestly. <laughs> Only the truly brave return with the proof of their courage. 95, 2750, 1520, and 160. I am loaded. Honestly, I think, now that I think about it, I think it's clever that this game is giving you a lot of gil. Kinda makes sense. Uh, I think that's it. That's the shrine we need to go to, by the by. Yeah, those are all the caves. Alright, but before I go there... Ah, uh, you guys are gonna make me walk, aren't you? Fuck. The game... The game is being a dick. Alright, we're in the ramp spot. The beak is right here. And that's the hidden village, I believe. Oh, it's a hidden village, by the way. Oh no, that's not the beak. Maybe the hidden village was Final Fantasy IV. I don't know. But this is where you get your level 8 magic, I believe. No, never mind. I don't think that's... this is it. This is the town of Gaia, also known as Hawkeye. To the south lies another town. We call it Hawk Wing, but we don't know its real name. Okay, that's, yeah. This is definitely not the spot. Have you gone to Hawk Wing yet? Their language is total gibberish. Yep, definitely not the spot. The castle in the west tests your courage and strength. My old man told me that. There was a fairy living at the spring here, but I haven't seen her lately. Where has she gone? Maybe to help some Kokori kid. I saw something bright flying across the sky to the west. I know I saw it. Okay, lady. UFO. Got it. Whoa. What have we here? You fellas are outsiders, ain't ya? How the heck did you manage to climb the way up here? With an airship. This is like one of the biggest villages in the game. Or if not the village. Biggest village, I mean. So Ice 3 and Break, these are level 7 spells. Can't learn this shit. Actually, my White Mage can. I mean, she has one point now. Now they're level 20. But, they are White Wizard only. Why don't they wear hoodies? It's like, we're too pure for hoodies now, or what's up? That broom sure is good at making itself look busy. But, you know, all it does is just move the dust around. The spring in this town bears ox ale, but only fairies can collect it. And more level 7 or 8 magic. Alright. So here's the level 8 magic. I'll come back here when I actually have level 8 magic, but... For the most part, there is a true level 8 magic, and they're talking about the... Well, not they're talking about, but it's where they mention the, um... 
that village where they speak gibberish in Hawkwing. There was a scholar studying the Lufinian language, but I can't recall his name. What's up, Pirate Man? Oh, I have sinned deeply. I captured a fairy and sold it to a traveling caravan. Crystal Chronicles? Man, they get like a badass church over here. This is a nice town, though. Alright, time to check the weapon and armor shops. Because at this point, you are allowed to sequence break. Although, if you're Sinji like I am, I wouldn't recommend it. Because you're going to get nicer items in the dungeons, but... I also want to live and not use... Not go in and out of the dungeons a lot. So... Let's see what they got. Cat claws, a very sharp knife. Well, that's not useful at all. And a ruby armlet, decorative armlet with the ruby inset. That costs 50,000 gil. Ring that guards against instant death. That might be useful. But not right now. I don't think any of the bosses I fight next are going to be using instant death spells. I just had to heal up. I didn't bother to use a cottage or anything. So not much I can do here right now. But now that I talked to everybody, I don't even have to talk to anyone again. All that's left for me to do is go to the uh, mechanical shrine. And just to make sure I know where it is. Alright, so... Dupe and dupe. Yeah, I was so close I thought we could land here. Maybe we can land here. Although I doubt it, but... Nope. They're gonna want me to walk all the way around here. Well, it's not that far. No, oh, come on. These bastards. How cruel... Are they? Okay, yeah, I remember. They want me to walk from here... To here. Damn you developers, damn you. Well, I have to do it. Yay. On one hand, I think it's pretty awesome they're making me doing this, but at the same time, motherfuckers. So warm, new enemies, that's cool. I don't think the enemies here are that tough, but they're tough enough. I think the developers at the time, or those who were working on the balance and whatnot, kept in mind like, oh well, you know, they could secrets break here, and I'm sure most of them would, so we can't make the enemies too powerful. I- As I was saying, I may do something like that if I ever create a, like a mid small mini game myself. I mean, I've been always wanting to make a game, but like, I don't think I would have Go all the way as to go through, um, like, from the bottom up. Not mean, not meaning creating my own engine, but, like, from the bottom up, I don't think I would have gone that far. Probably something around the lines of, like, a sprite-based game similar to, I guess, all them Earthbound indies. In all honesty, though, I was just thinking of using RPG Maker, but I just really don't like how their sprites are. Not to mention, I would want my uh, games not to be first person, but 2D. Like, like in Final Fantasy, I'm just not a huge fan of first person RPG games. Although, like, I've been playing some more and more lately, and I'm getting more into it. So, I still prefer seeing my characters punch slash cast spells on the enemies, even though the enemies won't be as, you know, animating as the first person ones. So, it's all about taste. Ultimately, they're about the same, though. I just like seeing the characters I control kick ass. Alright, the Citadel of Trials. Use a memo. In case I want to go outside and use a cottage. Oh no, that's it, alright. So, thou hast a crown required to test thy courage here! Then I do grant thee entry to the Trials! Sit upon the throne to open the way! 
If true courage dwells within thee, thou wilt find proof of it here. So now we know what the crown's for. And let's go sit on the damn throne. I don't think there are any random battles here though. And no more items, I assume. I think it's like a boss fight or something, like a mini boss fight. I'm not 100% sure on this, so I'm gonna heal just in case. With Cure 1! Because apparently my Red Mage is the only one my, the enemies care about to slap their shit with. I don't know. Kinda made it sound like the Red Mage got his ass kicked with their own testicles. Alright, it's a maze. It's all about trial and error. So the first are easy. You know, do you really want to see me do this? I mean... Oh, there's new enemies here. Actually, these aren't new, but you didn't really see that me fight them in um, the ice cave. But yeah, Mind Flayers. I hate these guys because of this. They have a party-wide process done. Group them up with other enemies and they fucking suck. Especially Cockatrice. But they never paired them up with Cockatrice, so yeah. Alright, I suppose I could show this off. I mean, it's uh, it's just so annoying. I never like these kind of puzzles. It's just, it's nothing but memorization. Oh, a Necrotar. Alright, an undead Minotaur. Um, anyways. But yeah, I mean, like, these kind of puzzles, uh, they're just, they're just more tedious than they are. Anything else, but I mean, limitations and whatnot. So, I guess I can forgive them. I kinda wish I had a map for this. Honestly, when I came to playing Final Fantasy X, uh, Rock... Rakshasa, alright. Use Fire 3 on these guys. Just in case. Um, I was playing Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon on the 3DS, and the second boss has this one chamber where you have to go up, like, 20 flights of stairs? And it was so fucking annoying. And that was so weak. Well, then again, they use fire, so maybe they resisted it. But anyways, that's, that, that stairway thing was so annoying. I mean, they gave you a hint on which stairs you're supposed to go, but it disappears after like five of them. And it just gets a, it's just tedious because the whole fall slide down is, my God, I mean, I guess kids will be like, yeah, yeah I conquered it. But honestly, it's really tedious. I'm just going to assume it's this one. All right. And then Final Fantasy X had this uh, one room, the sphere, the final sphere grid room. When I get to it, I'm, I'm gonna use a guide for that. I'm just letting you guys know right now. I'm using a guide for that shit. I mean, it's it's memorization and it's just... If I wouldn't use a guide, I would just use my cell phone, take a picture of it, and remember how everything goes. Alright, this is an enemy fight. The statues have to signify that. Or if not, they do signify it, and I didn't want to use it on you. I not, no one needed it, so whatever. What am I gonna be getting here? Oh, clay golem. Alright, haste you up. And let's play it safe with shield 2. I probably should have bought more spells, but whatever. I'm fine with just shield 2 right now. Oh, uh, these guys aren't that strong at all. Man, that flame sword. It makes a badass sound. Alright, gauntlets. Ooh! Are these what I think they are? Oh, no one can wear them yet. Shit. I think these are the gauntlets. I was gonna say, I think these are the gauntlets that give me like a... The steel spell when I use the item, but I guess not. They actually use bolt too. Alright, let's see if the long path is the right path. Well, I assume it's just another door. But yeah, I assume it's- nope, not another door. Alright, well, I'm skeptic about that. From my experience, the longest path isn't always the right path. So, I assume it's... It's either this one or the one right across the room. 
And let's go with this one. All right, sweet. <laughs> Whoa. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna memo right now, actually. Oh, a new enemy, King Mummy. Sweet. All right, you guys attack that. And... Uh, I don't know if Gauntlet reflects their stats, but he'll be able to use both too. So now my white mage and my monk can now use spells technically with the items. This hasn't- you couldn't be able to do this in the original Final Fantasy, so this kind of does make it easier. It also makes the monk a little bit more useful too. And well, with only one alive, let's see how much damage you do with it. Not bad. That's a good bolt too. You do a lot more damage than my red mage. Which is crazy. Oh no, this is the last one I think. Or maybe not. Enemy fight? Okay, why not? Oh, another enemy. New enemy, that is. Nightmare! Not the form of Soul Edge. So, another recolored sprite. But, you know, you can't really blame people for, like, recoloring the sprites. I mean, you gotta create the sprite, and then you gotta give a new, you know, pose. And it's just so much easier to recolor. I mean, I don't blame them at all. I mean, now that, now that I'm older, I can understand why they do it. It's not really- ooh, with healing stuff. It's not really laziness at all, it's just... It's not really laziness, it's just versatility. I should have been using the memo more, honestly. Well, now I know what Gaze does. Well, at least from a Medusa. It turns you into stone. Luckily, I got a memo. So... I'm just gonna use that, and I'll see you then. You know what, never mind. I'm just gonna keep them at stone and not fight anymore. So steel gloves, ice brand, and a ribby armlet. I really don't want to use a gold needle though. I am really lucky now with the random battles though. I mean like running away. Ah crap. As soon as I said that, I thought I jinxed myself, but in the last moment my white mage managed to run away. So 1455 gil. Cottage and 7,340 gil. 7340. Alright, so unless I'm fighting a boss, I'll give him the gold needle as much as I don't want to. But at the same time, I'd want to. <laughs> Sweet! Rat's tail. And a mandatory fight. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, I guess I gotta use a gold needle then. So... I'm gonna have you cast steel. You're gonna attack. And you are going to... Bring back... Raijin. Ow. I'm hoping they have a little bit of health. I don't want anyone to die, so... Still another dick move of the developers to put like a battle right out of the... You know, I assume that chair is going to teleport us out, but yeah. Dick move, but it's also kind of funny, so... Again, that's probably something I would do. And in retrospect, I should have expected it. But they forced me to use a gold needle, god damn it. So I'm worthy. Alright, so I'm gonna cut to the chase through transition and see you at Bahamut's place. Alright, back at the Dragon's Cave, aka Bahamut's Cave. And, or Bahamut. Um, I gotta say, the spell Fear, which drives away foes in fear, doesn't work for shit. I think it has to hit everyone and not just like a fraction or, yeah, a fraction of what's on the map. So, that sucks. It has been eons since true heroes have approached me! Well done! That rat's tail is proof of your valor and strength! 
Now, warriors, step forward to accept titles more worthy of heroes. Bless the crystals! Alright, so there we go. Got our class change, and it's just as simple as that. My friend never did this. I guess he just didn't want to do the red seal thing, or... I don't know. Anyways, I am now a knight. I have no points, though. So I was wondering how this would work. Like, can I just use them whenever I need to, or what's up? But nope, I gotta get points again. And Fenrir is a master. I don't know how to feel about him. He kind of reminds me of Edgar, honestly. Or Sabin, I guess, but Sabin didn't have long hair like that. He did have a rat's tail, on, <laughs> which is funny enough. Huh, I wonder if that's a reference. But yeah, um... Everyone's, uh, well, they're master class. So now I can use, um, level 7 spells on my White Mage Asura. And Zodiac can now use... Oh, nothing yet. He's still stuck with that. However, let me go back to the menu once more. <laughs> Oh, we're about to level up, alright. So I'm just gonna go kill something outside real quick. Then I'm gonna go rest up. But honestly, there's nothing left for me to do. Other than, you know, continue the quest for the Wind Crystal. Or, I think the next one's Water, I believe. Yeah, I think it's Water. I keep on thinking of Cagnazzo, but... That's, again, that's one of the elemental arch fiends from Final Fantasy IV. Honestly, these bosses weren't that memorable to me, other than the Lich and the final one. I barely remember the uh, fire boss. I don't remember what the water one is. I think the water one was a Kraken looking thing. Anyways, I'm gonna kill this worm real quick. But yeah, like I said, I don't think the white wizard or white mage was ever, uh, you know, a woman. But still, even with the sprite, kind of looks like a dude and a woman at the same time. I got one point now, one, two, and three. Sweet. The master gets nothing. Um, damn, 42 attack. Holy shit. I wonder if I can equip it now, though. That grand armor or whatever. I guess not. I have a ruby armor yet? What the hell? I never even bought one. Well, interesting. I should, uh, not equip that on you, <laughs> honestly. You should wear the ruby armor. I forget when I got the ruby armor, honestly. Oh, whatever. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go grab some spells and whatnot for my, um, knight. And, or Raijin. And some more stuff for Asuda and Zodiac. Now that I got the flying ship, make it way more easier. Got a bunch of guild, too. And I'll see you in the next town. Or, where I actually already went there, which is here. This is where you get the final spell, I think. I think this is where it's supposed to go next, since this is the water uh, cavern, and this is the wind one. Because if you remember at the very beginning of the game where it says the wind died, there's a like a sand tower and this is it. So, there you go. So, I'm going to head over here, but after I do all my errands. Anyways, with that said, thank you for watching this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy Origins Final Fantasy 1. Part of the year of Final Fantasy with me, Opaque Flake. And I already said what I'm going to be doing in the next part, so yeah. I'm going to go chill in my lakeside view spot right here where the wind died. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm going to go see what I can buy as far as items goes and whatnot. Anyways, with that said, done. Okay, thanks, bye.